we really do have to start early and we have to get the whole group out there. So we have done a, you know, we have marketed the engineering industry mainly to boys and we really haven't invited the girls in. And that's a really important part of the uh, development of engineering as a big profession in Australia is to reach out to the other 50% of the people out there who want to go out and be employed in the workforce. And it has to start early. Uh, we really need to reach out to kids in elementary school, which means our target ma market is actually teachers and parents. So one of the things we need to do is have engineering specialist teachers. We have science teachers, we have art teachers, we have phys ed teachers. We need engineering specialist teachers who are going to engage girls and boys in the wonders of math and physics for good, design. How do we build the built environment that we live in? How do we create iPhones? What does what is the process that gets us from raw material to the clothes that we wear, the food that we eat, and the cars and vehicles that we get us to and from work? That's all an engineering process. So teaching kids from an early age about how we use physical sciences and math and modeling to create a livable world and a sustainable world is something that an engineering specialist teacher could do. So we really need to teach the teachers about engineering. Well, in fact, robotics has already broken through into mining. I mean, BHP has the world's largest robotic train. Fortescue is uh, doing autonomous driving in the Pilbara. It's already happening as we sensorize and put more devices that can tell the vehicles where they are. We're using cameras now to uh, measure what's in each scoopful in the, in the bucket, right? And to not only you know, see that it's there, make sure that a piece of the machinery or the, the toes from the, the claw haven't dropped into the bucket, which causes downstream problems, and actually even measuring the quality of the ore in, in the bucket. So all of that sensoring is happening, uh, equipping uh, vehicles with sensors so they know what's around them, so that safety is looked after. That is all happening. And it's happening because as mining becomes more diverse, as people come with new ideas, and as the companies open up to those ideas, those, those bring in. It's about uh, mining looking at itself as really a much broader sector. It's about um, finding and about producing, about shipping. Mining companies are shipping companies, civil engineering companies. They're, um, basically data science companies as they understand all the assets that they have. So they are really very large, um, large companies that need a lot of automation. And embracing automation is happening everywhere through our industries and mining is no different.